Katana is back and better than ever in Mortal Kombat 1. And in fact, after playing the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test myself for more than a few hours, I'm here to tell you and show you what to expect when playing Katana in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. First and foremost, my dudes, if you enjoy fighting game content, make sure and subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday and who doesn't want more content, right? Now, when playing Katana, I'll tell you right now, the first expectation you need to have is you are going to feel right at home if you've ever played Katana before. She's very familiar with her play style as she has in previous installments with, of course, a couple new moves to keep her kit fresh. As always, the fans are her big focus. They really extend the gameplay to the air. She's got a lot of fun air combos as well that utilize her fans and her kicks. She really cells in the air because a lot of her specials really set your opponent up to be in the air so you can do stuff on the ground but your main focus i felt like was okay i'm going to set my opponent up get him in the air air combo them slam them back down and then go for the setup again which isn't a bad strategy it was just like that's just kind of how i saw that she was playing she has a decent amount of mix-ups you know with loads and the overheads she has some armored specials when needed which is great to get your opponent off you she also has a lot of great moves that kind of apply to all the cameos that we were given to try out so a lot of her combos I noticed when I was playing it I was like oh these combos are great for basically any cameo fighter that I'm using so no matter who I'm using Sonya, Jax, or Kano all of these cameos can be applied in Katana's moveset where I felt like some characters I was like oh well like for an example Sub-Zero I felt like his combos really fit with either Kano or Jax and not so much Sonya but Katana she really fit well with all the cameos that we were given to try out which I think is really cool I'm not gonna lie to you there's not a ton to say about Katana. She felt, honestly, though a bit different, she felt like good old-fashioned Katana. Like she always has from previous games. Since day one, basically, she's always been, you know, Katana. So if you enjoyed her game style before, they haven't really changed that formula when playing Katana. You're going to feel right at home if you've ever played her before, which isn't a bad thing, because honestly, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Obviously, her fans are the staple to her kit, so they're still here offering all they've ever offered. If you've ever enjoyed Katana, Katana, you're definitely gonna enjoy her here. She hasn't changed too dramatically to make her not worth playing. Though this was just a stress test, and I'm sure they'll fix a lot before the game fully launches, I do wish that she did a bit more damage in her combos, and I wish she had just a tad more openings in her kit, in her combos, to really open up your opponent with the mix-ups. She has a couple, but not a crazy ton. I just wish she had a bit more to offer, but she wasn't too basic or too drawn out that I didn't like her. I, I loved her a lot. She's a lot of fun to play. These are just things that I hope they change when the full game launches. I know this was quick and easy and to the point, but these are just my thoughts on Katana from the time that I had playing her in the Mortal Kombat 1 stress test. With that being said, let me know down below, what do you think of Katana in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like her? Do you hate her? What would you change? What would you not change? Let me know your thoughts down below. In your fighting game journey, make sure and take it one step at a time, and I will see you in the next one.